I'm here today with our summer program in collaboration with the Greenpoint YMCA. It's a summer youth program funded by ExxonMobil. We are focusing on STEM standards and learn about native plants and environmental stewardship. They will also be conducting more studies this afternoon in Washington Square Park to look at uh, trees and how to connect that with a web-based database that we're working on a long-term research project with. It's pretty much for teens to basically get a better sense about the environment, um, alternative energy, and things that they can do to help the environment in the long run. And the reason it's called Redbud is in the spring, it doesn't have flowers, but it has very red purplish uh, buds on all. Students are high school students from the Greenpoint Brooklyn area. They spend a great deal of time in the Greenpoint community restoring a community garden called the Lentil Garden. And we're working on beautifying the garden. We have these monitors that were built by the teens um, at NYU Poly and pretty much it just monitor, monitors the soil and if it like the soil moisture and if it would need any watering or things of that nature. It's a lot of hard work but I kind of got a lot stronger over the summer and it's a lot better than sitting at home. I think the kids get a very unusual summer educational experience. They get to meet a lot of people from a variety of professions. They get ideas uh, in terms of their own careers, their interests. They get to see how they connect to their local environment and how math, science, technology, uh, and the environment are all integrated in creating sustainable communities. They get to see what it's like to have sort of a business aspect in terms of you know how to deal with certain people and certain ways that you should talk to a professional. So I feel like they get that aspect and they also get the aspect of being hands-on within the environment and showing how to better the environment. They make friends, they get to add this to their resume, and they get to connect with our university and the local community. I feel like this course kind of can I guess relate to a college course because you're doing so much in such a short period of time but they're still retaining information. The favorite part of the program is meeting these young people, getting to know them, getting to see them grow over time. The Steinhardt School of Culture, Education and Human Development has really been a supporter of STEM education and we're looking forward to developing many more youth related programs that emphasize STEM standards and their application in a sustainable city. And I just hope that this, com this program continues to get bigger and better over the years. So this is just one example of uh, many programs that we hope to develop here, working with communities across the city.